In this video, I will show you the to look OLL and to look PLL algorithms that I use to solve the last layer. So the OLL stands for orienting the last layer to orientate all the yellow stickers up and the PLL stands for permutation of last layer which is to permutate these edge pieces and corners so that they go in place and we solve the cube. If you don't know how to solve the cube, I recommend you see my latest video. It's up here uh, to learn how to solve it very easily. If you saw it already and you know how to solve it with the beginner's method, uh, using the tool look OLL and the tool look PLL, you can solve it way faster, just memorizing some algorithms. The difference to the normal uh, OLL and PLL is that you would have to memorize many, many algorithms, like 80 or something. In this case, you only have to memorize like 16 algorithms, so it's way easier. The first OLL algorithm is very easy, is if you have the yellow dot, you just do F R U R prime U prime F prime. So if you do it quick, it will look something like this. And you get to the L shape, put it to the left and back, and this is the second algorithm, which is the same, but uh, in the other order, so you do F U R U prime R prime F prime. If you have the horizontal line, you do the same algorithm, F R U R prime U prime F prime. Once we have the yellow cross, we can have seven possible cases. The first one is this one, which is called the soon, where you have only one yellow sticker here and the others are not here. So if you have this one and you see this yellow sticker here as well, you have the soon. So you do this algorithm, R U R prime U R U 2 R prime. In this case, you also have one yellow corner, but in this case, you don't see this yellow sticker here. So you have to turn it twice to put it to the back so that you can see this one here on the left. This is called the anti soon and is the same algorithm, but backwards. So R U two times R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. If you don't have any corner and you have like this, to facing the opposite side. This is called the H, and you should put it like this, with two facing to the left and two facing to the right, and you do this algorithm, R, U, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U, two, R prime. If you have two stickers diagonal to each other, you have to put them so that they are one to the le back left and the other in the, the front right and so that you can see one sticker over here so if I turn it twice I don't see any sticker yellow here so I have to see this here and do this algorithm so X you rotate the cube like this to the front and then do this R prime U R D prime R prime U prime R D If you don't have any yellow corner in place and you have these two in one side facing the same way and these two facing outwards from each other, you hold it like this precisely and you do this algorithm. R U2, R2 U prime, R2 U prime, R2 U2, R. If you have two adjacent yellow corners in place and these two are facing to the same way, you put them facing U, and uh, this is the U case, R2, D, R prime, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. The last case, if you have two adjacent corners, but these two are facing outwards from each other, you hold it like this, with these two on the left, and this is the T, and you do this, so rotate the cube again to the front, and L U R prime U prime and now going up L prime U R U prime. Now the first part of the tool PLL is to solve all the corners, put them in place. So the first case you can have is this. You don't have any two corners with the same color on any side. If you have this case, just hold it anyway and you do this algorithm so that we swap these diagonal corners. So F R U prime, R prime, U prime, R U, R prime, F prime, 
R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime. If you have any side with two corners with the same color, put it to the left and to do this algorithm. R U R prime U prime R prime F R two U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime. Now in the second part of the Tulu PLL, uh, we have all the corners in place and we have uh, four possible cases. So in this case we have one side already done, so let's align it. And uh, here we have to swap these three edges. So in this case the blue goes here, the green goes here and the orange goes here. We have to do this three edge cycle going anti-clockwise. So you do this algorithm R U prime, R U R U R U prime, R prime, U prime, R2. This is the other case, the same, but this time this goes here, this goes here, and this one goes here. So it's a clockwise rotation. So we do this algorithm, which is the opposite from the other. R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. In this case, we have to swap four edges. As you can see, they are all in the wrong place. So just align all the corners. And in this case, this one has to swap with this one. And this one has to swap with this one. So they are opposite to each other. In this case, it's the opposite edge swap. And you do this algorithm. M2, U prime. M2, U2. M2, U prime. M2. In this case, we also have to swap these four edges, but they are adjacent to each other, okay? These ones are adjacent, and these ones that we need to swap. So, in this case, what I do is that if this one needs to go here, I hold the cube so that this one is facing me, and I turn it left so that uh, to align this edge with the center. And, you, and I do this algorithm. M, U prime, M2, U prime, M2, U prime, M prime, U2, M. Okay, that's it. Try to write down the algorithms and with some practice you'll be able to memorize them. I took like one to two weeks to memorize all of them. I hope this helps you get a little bit faster at the cube. And don't forget to subscribe, thank you so much. We are almost at the 50 subscribers goal, so let's get there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.